Hey guys, welcome to Winecraft. My name is Mario Luna with MarioLunasom.com, where we develop the sommelier in you. And this week I want to talk to you about a very underrated and underappreciated varietal that we don't drink enough of. It's uh, Syrah. I mean, I got one in my hand. I'm so excited to try it. But I want to backtrack a little bit because we're going to start with two varietals, Pinot Noir and Cabernet Sauvignon. I bring up those two grapes because people tend to like either that soft fruity side for the Pinot or you like that darker fruit, robust, big, bold, and dry finish from a Cabernet Sauvignon. So for the most part, with all the suggestions and, and wine selling I've done in eight years prior to being in, in this position, working in restaurants, I have guests that just want to just go to that either one of those two routes. They want to go Pinot Noir or Cabernet Sauvignon. Well, I have a varietal that can do a little bit of both. It's a Syrah. This is meaty. It's peppery. It, there's a lot of cherry and raspberry, and it can finish light like a Pinot Noir, or it can finish dry and big like a Cabernet Sauvignon. So I want to open up my notes. I want to give you examples, three examples of a Syrah for the Pinot Noir lover, and three for the Cabernet Sauvignon lover. Let's get started. So let's understand by tasting Syrahs for those Pinot and Cabernet Sauvignon lovers. So let's talk about what the varietals first. It's uh, lots of cherry, lots of raspberry, pepper, tobacco, smoked meats, and then the body of the wine feels really juicy. It's smoky, fruity, earthy, and they can finish light or dry. I opened up a bottle of a Syrah and look at that beautiful color, that ruby note, a little bit of a clear tint hue around the edge there, it's beautiful. So, if you are that Pinot Noir lover, I have three areas where the wine can come from that can give you the best representation of a lighter finish. So, starting with chili, where they tend to be spicy, earthy, light raspberry finish. St. Joseph, it's in France, in the Rhone Valley, where it offers tobacco, cherry, pepper, and more of a velvet finish, beautiful. And then Santa Barbara, which is the most underrated of, where, of all Syrahs. Lots of pepper, lots of smoked meat. It's just a nice balanced fruit finish. It is fantastic. Now, if you are watching this video and you are loving Cabernet Sauvignon, well, I have three for you that, that the Syrahs can give you a best representation. So north of Santa Barbara, California, we have in Sonoma, they tend to be juicy, lots of cherry, really big and peppery. I love them. So good. And then the last two are both in Australia, McLaren Vale and South Australia. So McLaren Vale is the coolest area to grow these Syrahs. So there's lots of pepper, smoked meat, a little bit of a cool finish, while South Australia tend to have a little bit more blackberry, chocolate, dry, and hot. Yes, that will smear. That's how you feel when you drink that wine. It's like, oh God, it's huge. Lots of flavor notes as well. So hopefully this will give you the change your mindset if you want to try something different if you are a Pinot and Cabernet lover. Well, I hope you enjoyed the information for those Pinot Noir lovers and Cabernet Sauvignon lovers that have now a Syrah option if you want to go that direction. Um, I want you to go in that direction because of the price at the bottom of the page, you'll have selections of three different areas of Syrah for Pinot Noir lovers and Cabernet Sauvignon lovers. And they're all under the normal price of what a $60 Pinot Noir would be starting at this point. And also that $50 to $90 Cabernet Sauvignon in retail. I mean, you, it, it yes. It, there are Cabernet Sauvignons and Pinot Noirs around the world. There's so many different variations of them. But you have now, in tasting Syrah, a great wine with a lot of cherries, a lot of raspberry, a lot of tobacco and smoked meat notes. It's juicy. It could be light or dry, like a Pinot or 
like a cab, now you have an alternative to try something different and even save a little money as well. Hope you enjoyed the presentation. All the information is at the bottom of the page. Let us know what you think with the feedback. We love, 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 love the recommendations and ideas that come from you. See you next week.